Now, let me say, let me say this, uh, 580,000 kilometers is a lot of kilometers, okay? 50 years is a long time, or 50, 48 years is a long time. So dividing 48 years by six, not so bad. You know, every nine or 10 years the bicycle is stolen. It happens to other people on much shorter journeys, you know, and they don't get it back often. And I got it back all the time. The reason is why, because I couldn't go on without the bike, and I, I, I moved heaven and earth to get the bike back, you know. And often it was the media that helped, you know, that because they uh, publicized it, and, and the one uh, <laughs> disc jockey in, in San Francisco had it on his, uh, you know, playing music most of the time. Every time one record stopped, he was he had the bike guy again on, and you know this guy traveling a whole world. You know, imagine in San Francisco, his bike is stolen. You know, and people calling in and offering their bikes. Don't worry, he will get another bike from us. By the time you know the, the somebody had information about my bike, there were four or five bicycles on offer. You know, <laughs> so actually, how I did get it back was another story. We didn't get it back through the radio, but it was uh, because all around the area where it was stolen, we set up a uh, uh, science uh, reward, you know, with a reward and another bike as a reward, you know, because we were using the bike from the disc jockey to. to uh, and then some kids came one day and they said, "Is it true that we are getting another bike when we when we find this bike?" Yeah, sure. Three kids came, and they wanted three bikes, you know. So the disc jockey, okay, we're going to get them three bikes, you know. And so the bike was found in the backyard of a church where they, the kids had stolen stuff, and they had been fiddling around with it. They had ripped off something already on the bike, but the bike was there, you know. A bike shop offered it the complete overhaul, so that was one time. Another time in a hotel in, in, in Turkey it was stolen when... Um, I got, I got out of the room and back to my where I locked it up on a on a on a gas pipe or whatever, whatever it was, you know, in the inside in the in the party of the hotel. That's why I prefer to take the bike to my room. But sometimes it's not not or they don't want it or it's not possible. And downstairs seemed to be right. I came back, go go down, bike was gone, you know. Wow. Uh, hotel owner, oh, I don't know, I don't know. The the lock was the lock was still there but broken, you know, or cut through. I went to the police. The police got the hotel owner. And I hear some shouting in the background and some screaming, and and suddenly they're coming out of the room, and the police <laughs> with the guy, he says, "Well, we don't know exactly, but we must go and look, and we find it probably." We went to the hotel, we went to the back of the hotel, and the police went right where the where the bike was, you know, and they looked into a, in Cappadocia, in where these uh, mm -hmm. famous yeah. famous ruins are. The, he looked into a ditch where 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 you know some of these carvings, and he said, "Look." What is there? That looks like that bike. I know he knew it, but he kind of saved face and they didn't want to accuse the guy, you know. And yeah. I, that was, there was, you know, one of the ones, one time it was stolen with all the luggage on, briefly in a shop in Siberia, looking for batteries. And there was no big shops anymore. It was all little kiosk in those days when the system had fallen down and you had to little little places springing up everywhere. And I looked at one and looked at another. There was a photo where the little photos play. looked like they had a battery, but they didn't. And so then I looked out of the window where I had put my bicycle outside and I couldn't see it anymore. So I raced out. The bike was gone. You know, all my luggage, everything, you know. And so I ran to the left. I stopped the taxi driver, I grabbed him and said, come on, get, get, go, go, find the... And he said, he was really shocked. I was so panicking, you know. Then I ran the other side, a group of policemen coming down the road. I said, bicycle, bicycle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have seen a, my guy was riding a bicycle. He, young, he, can't, he can't ride the bike because he was falling all over with his luggage, you know. Yeah, where? Okay, come to the police station. Got the police station, go into a police car, riding around all over the place. We could not find the bicycle. The bicycle was gone, you know. So, police station, everything, all luggage. I had very little money in my pocket, just enough to for the, buy the batteries and things. And I had a lot of money in my luggage, and my uh, three thousand euro at that time, or three thousand uh, dollars, in in ex uh, because I'd be just coming from Japan, where I'd be selling my brochures. So I had some money with me, and so they first of all they had to get a translator. There was a German school, and there's a German school, a, a teacher who taught some German in some school there. He, she translated everything. And what do we do? Okay, she, the woman said, well, let's go to the municipality 
and it was on a Saturday, and there was only the uh, uh, replacement. And the guy he called the police chief, and he says, "Look, this guy traveling all the world. You better find the bicycle." And the police say, "Yeah, we find the bicycle, no problem." And so, but nothing happened for the day. And then the woman said, "No, oh, let's go to the television station." And we went to the television station. Then I was back in the. They gave me a hotel from the city, and I was waiting. I saw the woman on the television. I, every 15 minutes, the program was broke, and there was a woman there pleading for my bicycle. And the guy who had stolen it, he couldn't take it back to his home because he was a youngster. So he took it to some friends, and he left the luggage and everything there. And then he took off with the bike alone, and the woman. In the house, they saw it on television, and they called the police, and they said, "This is the luggage. The bicycle wasn't there." The police, but she, she knew the name of the guy. Went to the house, the guy was gone. He did, and the, but he came back, so they caught him. But he was a youngster, only 15 years old, and he couldn't keep him only for three days in 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 prison. And he said, "I don't have any many things were missing," and they put him under pressure, and he says, "You better get it." And in three days, everything was found. Money was found. The bike was there. A few things were missing. Probably had lost it on the way. And one of the things that was missing. This is a great finale. Uh, my my leather belt from my from my shorts were missing. And the police woman, she was making the case. She took off her belt, and she gave it to me. And for many years, they had a very good quality police belt for many years. Uh, for many years, I was using. Habeli. I still have it somewhere. Don't ask me where, but it's a nice souvenir, you know. That was the one of the, the many times the bicycle was stolen. I can tell you all the stories about the others, but I, I think it would be too long. So that's how I got them back. Each time I insisted on, I got to stick stick around until, it, and it never took more than a, a week before I got the bike back, you know. And all the th all the people I met in that time, it was actually quite good to lose the bike. I had the one in England. That might made the big news. I don't know about the, the newspaper that I showed you. With the same story again, you know, the police came, the guy who took me into the house, uh, and, uh, the bike was outside my tent when it was stolen in the middle of the night in Portsmouth. And uh, he said, the police will come. He says, but don't bank on it because they never come when there's something small like a bike theft, you know. But he was wrong because he, two minutes later, the police was there, you know. He took a, and he says, oh, we've we got to call the local news, you know. And they may, uh, they may uh, you know, and the local news, and then they got the story. And then they, they called some, the Associated Press and everybody. They, it blew out of all proportion, you know. And they say, you know, every newspaper had it in England about this bike theft, you know. He traveled all his life, three hours in England. Guess what? His bike is nicked, you know. The sun, big, many pictures, you know. And so, of course, the bike was, the guy who had it, he didn't really want it because he didn't know it was a shitty bike. There's an old, old, old clunker, you know. So he got rid of it quickly. He dumped it in a park. And a guy who, who saw it, he also knew the story, and he called the police. And within, within 40 hours of the theft, the police called, and, and they said, well, we think we got your bike, you know. And then the, and it was handed over, and the television was there, and, uh, and it was a big story.